Hey everybody, welcome to Home with the Halsteads and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I make an asparagus casserole and it's so delicious. It's still hot weather but the holidays are going to be on us before we know it and so I'm just giving you a few recipes ahead of time so that you can write them down and you can refer back to them or you can go back and look at all of my videos and have some for Thanksgiving and Christmas. It'll be here before we know it. I just can't believe how time flies. So let's talk about this asparagus casserole. I'm using uh, canned asparagus today. This is um, asparagus spears and it's a 15 ounce can. You can certainly use fresh asparagus if you would like. But if I use fresh asparagus, I would go ahead and cook it down just a little bit uh, before mixing it with the other ingredients for our casserole. I'm using a 15 ounce can of very young uh, small sweet peas. Young small sweet peas, one can, and I'll drain both of these, the asparagus and the peas. I'm using one can of cream of celery soup. This is a 15 ounce can um, or 15 and a half ounce can of cream of celery. You could use cream of mushroom if you like that, but I just prefer the cream of celery. I'm using two thirds of a cup of milk, two thirds of a cup of milk. I'm using grated uh, cheddar cheese. And today I have chosen to use the medium cheddar cheese and I've grated that. I'm using one sleeve of Ritz crackers. They're about 30 to 32 crackers in a, in a large sleeve. Some of the uh, Ritz crackers now come in smaller uh, sleeves, so you might need to use two if you have the small ones. But one sleeve of Ritz crackers and one half stick of butter. And I'll melt the butter and mix it in with the crackers. And then we're going to um, sprinkle some black pepper. In fact, lots of black pepper this morning because Doug's not going to eat asparagus. He's just not. So I'm going to put pepper and I'm going to enjoy it. I'll be using an 8 by 11 baking dish. We've talked about this before. I only have one of these. I wish I had multiple. It's just a great size. It's an in-between, a 9 by 9 and a 9 by 13. And I probably got this when I got married. So I need to start looking around and see if they make an 8 by 11 because I surely would like to have two or three more of these. And I have preheated our oven to 350 degrees. So let's get busy and make this asparagus casserole. I started out by spraying our 8 by 11 baking dish with a no-stick cooking spray and then I drained uh, the asparagus spears and I have placed them in the bottom of the baking dish. To that I'm going to add the small um, sweet peas. I'm just going to uh, spread those around evenly. I drained these as well. I like to use this little fork that I have here to help to spread. Just dump those out. A few left in the bottom. We'll get those out. And we'll just spread these out in the over the asparagus. And that's all there is to that. So now I'm going to set that aside and we'll mix our soup and our milk. Remember I'm using cream of celery and you can use cream of mushroom or whatever um, kind of soup that you like. I guess you could use cream of chicken if you wanted to, um, but I like the cream of celery. It just seems to be a little milder to me than the cream of mushroom. But both are delicious. Both are delicious. Okay. Now we're going to add our milk. I'm just going to whisk this around. Mixing it up really well. And 
And now we'll bring back our casserole dish and we'll pour our uh, liquid mixture over the asparagus and the peas. We want to cover it all really well. Just pouring it over the peas and we'll spread it out once I get it out of the bowl. Mm, this is going to be good. Now, let's top it with some cheese. And I like to grate my cheese. Um, the cheese that you buy that's already grated, it tends to have um, a little coating on it and it's not as, um, you don't get as much um, oil out of it as you do regular grated cheese. And I like a lot of cheese, so I'm just going to go ahead and mix this. Now, some people mix um, the cheese and the crackers together, so that's that would be an option for you. If you wanted to do that, you could go ahead and mix your um, Ritz crackers and your cheese together and put it on top. But you can tell, I'm just... I grated eight ounces of uh, cheese, um, a block of cheese. I don't think I'm going to need all of this. So probably what I'll do, I'll probably make some pear salad and just use my extra cheese on my pear salad. Now we'll set that aside. So now I have crushed our Ritz crackers and I'm going to pour the half uh, stick, which is one fourth cup of butter in the Ritz crackers. And again, I'm going to slip on a glove because I'm going to use my hands um, to spread this on top of the casserole. So I'm just mixing it around, moistening the crackers with the butter. Just like that. I hope you're all doing well today. I hope you're um, still enjoying outside even though it's hot. The mornings are pretty bearable and you can get out and take a walk or just enjoy walking around your yard. So now we're going to spread our Ritz crackers over the cheese on top of the cheese. Just spreading it out. Mmm, this looks good. I know it's going to be delicious. This is another one of those simple recipes, y'all. So simple. Now, I tell you, Doug was not going to eat this because he doesn't care for asparagus. So let's put some black pepper. Just go in to sprinkle black pepper on top. Just like that. And there you have it. An asparagus casserole in minutes. So now I'm going to put it in the oven on 350 degrees. I'll bake it for probably about 30, 35 minutes. I'll check it and see that it's hot through and through. And when it gets done, I'll be back. Our asparagus casserole is ready to come out of the oven. You can see that it's bubbly, it's hot through and through. I did cook it or bake it uh, 40 minutes. I like to add a little extra time just to make sure that it's hot 
uh, throughout and especially in the center. So I'm going to take it out of the oven, let it rest, let it cool, and then we'll dip some and try it. Okay, our casserole is out of the oven. It has set for about 30 minutes to cool. So now let's just scoop up some. Mm -mm. I'm anxious to get in some of this. Mm -mm. Look at that. That cheese, can you see it? Mmm. Those peas, yum. I could make a meal off of this. So now let's try it. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. And we're ready now to try this asparagus casserole. It looks scrumptious. Look at that. I hope you can see it. Let's try it. Mmm. I know it's going to be delicious. Mmm. -mm. Look at that. That is so good, and it does not need salt. You'll notice that I didn't add any salt. The crackers, the soup, it's all got plenty of salt. Look at that. Mm -mm. Now that's a good casserole. I hope you'll make it. I hope you'll share this recipe. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen. I'll see you again really, really soon.